Hey guys, so I'm just going to go over a quick tutorial about how to create headings in a table of contents in Word. This is a really useful feature uh, whenever you're trying to do a manuscript or something else, and it uh, helps you organize the content a lot better. Plus, making a table of contents is difficult to do manually, so this is the best way to do it. In this case, in this paper, I have a title, I have a section heading, this would be something like results or introduction or materials and methods. Under a results heading, I might have something about seedling quality, which is my subheading. Underneath that, I could have a tertiary heading, um, maybe something about uh, the chlorophyll fluorescence um, measured when I also looked at other seed quality factors. Normally, you wouldn't use this third heading in a manuscript. Subheading is as far as the uh, magnification goes, usually, but it's helpful to, to know that this option is available and it's great for your own organization. So in the home tab of the ribbon, you have a series of styles. If I highlight title, I can add a title case, title style. Heading one, heading two, and heading three. Now you'll notice that all of these different uh, sections are now in different fonts with different sizes and then also spacing. And uh, some are bolded, some are not even black. So what we want to do is highlight the style that you want. And you go to this drop down under the styles tab. I want to manage styles. Now I can click on any of the ones that I have here. I'm going to go to title, modify. So this is the title style. And maybe I want it to be in times and I want it to be a 26 point font. Also, bolded. Now I can add this to the styles gallery where this is going to then appear up here all the time. And I can update it for just this document or for all new documents. I'm going to go all new documents because I generally keep the same style. I'm going to say okay. And so it'll always change that title to that style. And the style is reflected up here again. So if I want to select it here, this header would go to the title style. Now another cool thing about these is that if I have text underneath any of the headings, I can use this little arrow and it'll actually hide it. Now each one of these sections has a little arrow itself. The title does not have one, but every section heading does. So I could add another section heading. Let's go after this. Heading two. Now I'll highlight here. So I have my section heading and heading two are both heading one style. So that means they will organize into this pattern. But I can drop down my first heading to reveal all of the other sections that I have in course there. Now, if I want to insert a table of contents, I can go to References, Table of Contents. Now, this is an automatic table. So it will show everything here. Also, the list of page numbers. Very useful. When you do add more information, you can always update the table. And you can always add text within the level of the table. Now, if I want to change the settings here, I can just go ahead and do that and make it match. And that's uh, the easiest way to, to do this. 
Um, I would suggest looking around the references tab. You can do other things like insert a table of figures. This is good for the thesis. Or uh, end notes, footnotes, uh, other things that you may run across um, uh, in the future. So that's all I have for you today.